This is Mr. Monocle, our client from Q Gold. Mr. Monocle wants to extract gold out of his refractory ore. If only there was someone that could help him extract it. Ah, oh, of course, the engineers. They can turn that junk into gold. So we have our ore. How do we get the gold out? Refractory ore like pyrite has gold particles locked in a sulfur or arsenic matrix. Extracting gold from this matrix is quite difficult. Gold processing typically involves these six steps. Cyanidation is where the gold is extracted. Refractory ore requires some special pretreatment. Pretreatment prepares the ore for gold extraction by oxidizing the sulfur and arsenic. Without pretreatment, gold extraction from refractory ore is not possible. Our project will focus on comparing the economics between three different methods of refractory ore pretreatment. Option one is total pressure oxidation. This method uses an autoclave's high temperature and pressure to drive oxidation. Option two is bioleaching. This method uses bacteria to induce oxidation. Option three is the Albion process. This method promotes oxidation through ultra-fine grinding. A mass and heat balance is completed for each process. Thermodynamic principles were employed into enthalpy and mass balance models to calculate optimal flow rates for each raw material. This brings us to project cost estimation. Now that we have flow rates from the mass balance, we can use these to determine cost. An equipment list can be created. Mass flow rate determines equipment sizing, which is then used to determine capital cost. Finally, a cash flow model is created. A cash flow model describes the money flowing in and out of the plant over its entire lifetime, including investment, operating cost, and revenue. That's a lot of things to keep track of. How do we know what process to choose? Since we are considering only the economics at this stage, all this work can be distilled to one single number for now. The internal rate of return, or IRR. Proceeding with the highest IRR option yields the highest return on investment. We are now at the end of our project. Considering only IRR, it looks like the Biox process is the best choice. In reality, other key aspects should be considered before making a decision, such as environmental impact or waste disposal. In conclusion, the engineers at Hydromet Insight Solutions have used mass and heat balances combined with cash flow analysis to model the economic viability of three different pretreatment processes. While there's still much work to do, they have determined that the Biox process is most economically viable at this point.